Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition, page 236. Norepinephrine and isoproteranol. Please refer to the picture of norepinephrine versus isoproteranol in your books. Describe the effects on blood pressure and heart rate when norepinephrine is administered. In the picture here, you see when norepinephrine is administered, there is effects on alpha and beta receptors. Now because of norepinephrine's alpha-1 effect, which increases the PPR, this will lead to an increase in diastolic pressure. And due to norepinephrine's beta-1 activity, there would also be an increase in inotropy, so that's an increase in contractility, therefore there will be an increase in the systolic blood pressure. And since the alpha-1 and beta-1 activity causes an increase in mean arterial pressure, this will result in a reflex bradycardia. So even though in normal situation beta-1 activity causes increase in heart rate, the reflex will overcome that effect, so the overall will be a decrease in heart rate, so that's the reflex bradycardia. Describe the effects on blood pressure and heart rate when isoproteranol is administered. When isoproteranol is administered, it has most of its effects on the beta receptors and virtually no effects on the alpha receptors. And due to beta-2 receptor activity, there would be a decrease in blood pressure due to its vasodilation effects. And due to beta-1 activity, there would already be an increase in heart rate. And that increase in heart rate will decrease the ejection volume. And that will cause the systolic blood pressure to be slightly lower than what was originally started with. So at the end, because of that beta-1 receptor activity, there is an increase in heart rate but the overall increase in heart rate is going to be much greater due to the addition of the reflex tachycardia due to decrease in blood pressure. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.